Throughout the Queen's 70-year reign, she's been known for loving animals and has taken care of countless pooches, in fact, the exact number of her pets is widely unknown. Earlier this year, the monarch shared an unexpected touching moment with one of her favorite dogs when she was cheekily interrupted in front of the media. Her Royal Highness was sorting through a display of memorabilia to mark her platinum jubilee celebrations in Windsor Castle's Oak Room. Just as she posed for a series of new photos, looking through cards and gifts from well, wishers, an inquisitive member of the household abruptly interrupted her. Sign up to our Team Dogs newsletter for your weekly dose of dog news, pictures and stories. But she wasn't the least bit disappointed as it came from a welcome guest, her adorable pet dog Candy. Candy is the Queen's last surviving dorgie, a cross between a dachshund and a Welsh corgi, and despite being an older dog, she is still full of energy. A charming snap showed innocent, looking Candy making a lap of the room and approaching Her Royal Highness for a sneak preview of her cards. Addressing the golden pooch, the Queen said, and where did you come from? I know what you want, likely to be referenced to a treat. She then called Candy over for a stroke and the beautiful moment was photographed, displaying the Queen's dedicated love for her dogs. The canine, loving monarch currently has another corgi called Mick and a recently adopted cocker spaniel. She welcomed home Lissy, a four-year, old champion gundog earlier this year, who recently won the 91st Kennel Club Cocker Spaniel Championship, seeing off 38 competitors to gain the top spot. The Queen broke a promise she made to herself not long before her 96th birthday to not get any new dogs out of fears they'd be left ownerless if anything happened to her. Though this proved difficult when she fell in love with a ward, winning Lissy. Queen Elizabeth II has owned more than 30 corgis during her reign, including three other dorkies, Cider, Barry and Vulcan, who all sadly passed away. One royal author even claims the only time the Queen truly relaxes is when she is around her pets. It comes as no surprise that the Queen's dogs have only the very best when it comes to their mealtimes, including their own menus. Former royal chef Aaron McGrady said, the corgis have their own menu. One day they'll have lamb, one day beef and then another, chicken. We had to make sure that all the meat was cut very finely and diced so there were no bones because we couldn't have them choking. They also have a special gravy that is poured on top of their food, a recipe created entirely by Her Majesty herself. In the book All the Queen's Corgis, author Penny Jenner writes that the pet's food is a variety of fresh, cooked meat, vegetables and rice, prepared specially for them in the royal kitchens, topped with a little biscuit, homeopathic and herbal remedies when required, and a special gravy that, legend has it, is the Queen's own recipe. Penny adds, whenever possible, she, the Queen, feeds them herself and it is an afternoon ritual but not an unruly frantic free, for, all. A footman brings the food and bowls on a silver tray and lays out a plastic sheet to protect the carpet. The queen then sits them in a semi, circle around her and does the rest. Do you have a dog's story to share? Email me a dot dalton at reachbook.com.